845, there is no better way to tackle America's debt problem than teaching kids how to be more financially responsible. Could mean getting them their own credit card sooner than most of us plan. Incredible.com personal finance expert Dan Ricotta has got more on how to start teaching them money management early on. Dan, good morning. Uh, good to see a great topic this morning as well. Yeah, good morning, Ryan. How are you? And I know you've got a couple kids that might be in this category, my friend. We have just gone down this road with one of them that have a, a credit card, and we wanted to start the credit card rating. You say that's a good thing to do at a young age. Yeah, it is. Listen, Ryan, you know, in our, our modern economy, credit cards are vital, right? So it's either you're going to teach them or someone else is going to teach them. I'd rather you teach them. And they're, listen, as kids go to college and they go away and, you know, various camps and trips and things like that, it, it really is a necessity, especially for, let's say, emergencies to have a credit card in her purse. It's more secure than cash, which is, you know, important if they're, say, going away to college. Um, but most importantly, Ryan, it helps establish a good credit history. And as you know, that's really key. Nowadays, you know, you need uh, you need a credit report just to order uh, the Dairy Queen for crying out loud. So it's important <laughs> that we help our kids develop that credit profile. Well, I feel good that you said that because that's the main reason we did it. But Dan, I've also seen some red flags. Like he doesn't understand the billing process. Then he got flooded with other uh, billing things where they wanted him to yeah. sign up for new credit. So what else do parents need to watch out for? By the way, I'm not sure most parents understand the billing process yet. <laughs> Number one, my friend, overspending, crazy interest charges, you know, the size of Wyoming. These are the things that you as parents, you and I, we want to make sure that we understand what they're spending at all. We want to understand how much they're spending. And it was that within that conversation that we had. But most importantly, we want to make sure that they're not damaging their credit profile or our credit profile in the process of learning. Uh, that's a great point, and you know I've watched it with him, and he's got a fifteen hundred dollar limit, so that kind of limits when you if you keep track on it, it's not bad as well. Is that when you get started? Is those some of the things you look at? What is their limit? Obviously, the credit card company will decide that. That's a higher limit than my wife gave me, actually. Yeah, um, really? So <laughs> number one, add maybe think about adding them as an authorized user on your account, where you can closely monitor exactly what they're spending. You even get text alerts when they buy something, if you really want to do that. Um, maybe a secured card where you have a small limit to start, say 500 bucks. Um, and finally, look for the best card for her or his situation, right? So it might be the Amazon card, it might be uh, you know a cashback card, whatever it is, depending on how they're gonna use that card, you wanna match your child with the best card for that particular student. Um, and at the end of the day, again, it's all about teaching them good credit skills and the way you want them to, to learn it, not the way someone else wants them to learn it, like the credit card company, for example. That's a great point of advice, Dan, because a lot of people, they, they think of all these parenting issues, but this is one maybe they don't think about, and then they realize it's a big issue. And they realize it when it's too late, and then we spend years trying to fix someone's credit. I love it, Dan. Got to leave it there. Have a great weekend. Always good to talk with you. Thanks, Ryan. Tell Amy I said hi. I will. She